Hi, sunshines. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. For those who don't know me, my name is Alba Ramos. And today, I'm just going to get ready with you guys to show you how I go from this to this. <laughs> So I'll basically be doing a first impressions on a lot of those things, but at the same time I'll be showing you how I actually like to get ready, except this time I'll be trying new things out and taking a risk here, so it'll be kind of interesting. My skin is tightening up as I speak because I took a shower and I'm over here talking to you with a bare face, getting all dry and stuff, so we're gonna jump right into skincare. I'll be using three products today. The Beauty Counter All Bright Serum. This has vitamin C and turmeric, which is supposed to help with brightening your skin and evening your skin tone. This is my first time using it. I did research on it, bought it myself. So I'm taking two pumps. It's super yellow. It smells so good. It smells like turmeric tea, actually. It smells really good. Next up, this is the Alpine Beauty Plant Genius Line Filling Eye Balm. So it's basically an eye cream. This one's not new. This is an old favorite. I've been using this for a while now. Um, I mentioned this brand in my last video, I believe, or two videos ago. And it's an awesome brand, and I love the owner of this brand. I follow her on Instagram, and we had a Zoom call that was really awesome and entertaining to talk to her. Made me a bigger fan of the brand. They're available at Sephora, by the way. Not sponsored. I just really like the brand. Next up is the Honest Beauty Hydro Gel Cream. This has two types of hyaluronic acid. Old favorite of mine, not new to this product. And I'm actually running out. It's probably like two uses left of this. And I mostly like to use this during the daytime because I love wearing it under makeup. I also like wearing it at night sometimes, but I like other heavier things and like night creams for nighttime. So this is a great daytime type of thing. There's no oil in it. It goes really well with makeup and it goes really well if you want to wear an SPF. I'm not wearing SPF today, but uh, this is a great cream. What's unique about this one is that it has water bursting through it as you're blending it into your skin. I saw Jessica Alba using it in a video one time and she was explaining it. And ever since she explained it, and went into the depth of how it works, I've been obsessed. I think this is my second bottle. All right, skincare is done. Let's move on to hair. I've been using these products called Vita. I got a five piece uh, set that was on their website because one of you guys, one of my followers, I don't know your name, I can't remember, and I lost your DM. One of you guys messaged me on Instagram and told me about the brand, and we're talking about how it's great for postpartum hair, how it's recovered so many people's hair. So I looked into it, absolutely loved the brand, and ordered the five-piece set myself. So I use a shampoo, conditioner, hair mask, leave-in, and serum consistently, and it's been about a month now. I can't say for a fact that it's making my hair grow longer, but I can say that so far, within a month, I have a lot less shedding. I barely shed now, which is a great sign that it's working because my hair will get fuller again like it used to be before having my second child. So, looking forward to that. So the first thing I like to do with my hair wet is put on the serum mist. I only apply this once, which is right after I wash it with the shampoo and conditioner. Even tonic and blend this through my scalp as well. This is something super simple to use. Um, and honestly, even if it doesn't make my hair grow super long, I think I'm gonna continue buying the shampoo and conditioner and the mask because the ingredients are amazing. They're super natural, very organic brand. There's no artificial fragrance in the shampoo and conditioner. And it smells like the type of thing you can eat. I'm saying you should, I'm not saying you should, but you, it, you probably can. <laughs> I really am obsessed with the shampoo and conditioner. I feel like it's working. So I will definitely 
buy those two again, if not the whole five piece set. I'm not sure yet, can't speak too soon. Now for some new things. I was sent these new products by Abeta. Now, I started looking at Abeta again and this is their Bee Curly Curl Enhancer and Style Prep. I have a few other things from them. I have never used any Abeta styling products before in the past, so I just wanted to give them a shot. Now, I might be doing a curly hair tutorial going more in depth later. Smells nice. This multi-use hair oil, which I'm going to open now and put it in my hair. Since I'm only trying these products out today for the first time, I don't want to do a tutorial on it. I'm just telling you what I'm using, but I'm not giving you insight on it until I know whether I like it or not, and then I'll do a tutorial on it. For an old favorite, I'm going to move on to using my favorite gel ever. This is the Max Green Alchemy Styling Gel. I use this with pretty much any other brand of styling products. I'll use whatever cream, whatever leave-in, and then seal everything off with this. I'm obsessed with it. I've been using this for a very long time, many years. And I've only recently discovered that this is truly my favorite gel. They don't sell them in a pump dispenser anymore, so I have to buy the refill um, large one like this and then put it in this pump one. A little bit left in this bigger bottle, so I'm just using this one up first. Done. styled and now it's time to dry it all done now let's get dressed dressed and also if you want to know what I smell like these days it's dead cool like dead cool but dead cool fragrance number two it's a non-toxic company made by a girl and she was just 21 years old I wrote a story about her on my fragrance article on my blog go check it out if you haven't seen it this is one of the brands I mentioned as the top non-toxic perfume companies. I used to use a lot of Skylar, and I still do, but I just recently wanted to venture out into using something new. I tested out all of Deadpool's fragrances samples, and out of the samples, I liked two of them the most. Number one and number two, Taunt. But number one, as soon as I smelled it, it was like, oh, I have to get this for my husband. He doesn't wear cologne. I got it for him and I'm obsessed with it on him. And he wears it like every day now because we both like it. But I think he wears it because I like it that much. But coming from a person who hasn't worn any cologne in over 10 years, it says a lot for him to wear it every day because He's not a cologne type of person and he loves it. That's it. And since we're in the topic of fragrance, something I wear daily, I might as well tell you what my favorite is. Beauty Counter and Skylar. Love these two and I wear either or the other. Okay, makeup time, and no, I don't have nightstands yet, but the room is coming along nicely. And yes, I basically did all that work on my hair just to put it up anyway. All right, for makeup, I have a bunch of new things that's all around me right now, and I must admit it's a little bit overwhelming, but we're gonna get right into it. And in the box, it's from Credo Beauty, by the way. In the box, there's this Westman Atelier. I still don't know how to pronounce the name. I still don't know. Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Sticks. I'm gonna use this today from this box and I'm not gonna use any of the other stuff. I'm using a new foundation and a new concealer, but I have to figure out which one I'm gonna risk using today. I got two new ones from this brand called LYS. It's a new brand that's available at Sephora. It's the first black-owned clean beauty brand 
that's in Sephora. So that's pretty big. Have two colors of those. Don't know how it looks at all, have not tested it. I also have their primer, so if I choose to use that one today, I'll use the primer. I also have the Beauty Counter Skin Twin, which is a featherweight foundation. And lastly, I have the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. This is a very lightweight thing too, supposed to be. Now which one to use? Any, me, money, mo. What's the rest of the saying? I don't know. All right, you know what? I'm gonna use the Beauty Counter Foundation. This is the Skin Twin Featherweight Foundation. But first, I'm gonna use this primer, which is from Vapor Organic Beauty. And it's the Soft Focus Skin Perfecting Primer. It has like a little bit of luminosity, which I hope works with this because I don't really need it right now. But we shall see. I have not used this primer much. I think I used it once and I don't remember what it's like. So that's why I selected it today. I like it, but I don't know if I'll like it with the foundation. Looks good on its own though. I really like that. Whoa, I look shiny. All right, look, if you have oily skin, don't wear this. I don't have oily skin, I have dry skin, so this might work for me. Perfectly fine. But if you have oily skin, probably shouldn't. It doesn't feel oily though, it just feels soft like a primer, like a gel primer. But it looks very glowy. To apply the foundation, I'm also gonna use a beauty counter sponge, which I just got. I don't have water near me, and this is something I do often since I don't have water close to me right now and I'm too lazy to get up. I'm just gonna take my Honest Beauty Calm and Go Face Mist and spritz my sponge. And it's, it's wet enough. I'm gonna give this, ooh. Okay, I think this matches me. I didn't even test it on my skin. Okay, I'm liking this already. up my alley. The only thing I'm regretting already is the primer. I should have used a matte primer, which I definitely have, but I chose to use something new. And the primer isn't bad, it's just not for this type of foundation, I think. Okay, next up, concealer. I have two Beauty Counter Concealers. I also have two Keir Weiss Concealers that I've never used before. To the Beauty Counter Concealer, I have Dark One and Tan Three. I'm gonna go with Tan Three. I think that's a good color. I'm liking that. I went around the nose a little bit and I'm going to put some on my chin. Now let's blend that out. That looks good to me, color-wise, but the oiliness is killing me. I'm gonna use the Beauty Counter Mattifying Powder because it's matte. If you don't want your concealer to crease under your eyes and go into the line, you have to apply your setting powder immediately after blending in your concealer. So don't allow your concealer to set under your eyes and then powder. You have to do it immediately so that nothing's in those lines. So what I like to do is kind of squint in the mirror a little bit to see where those lines are. And I will blend it right away. Take a good amount of the powder and immediately pack it under. Pack it under. Now, I, I don't really let it sit on there like baking style. 
So I'm just gonna blend it in. And from setting only around my eyes, look at that huge difference. I have creases on the side of my mouth, so we're gonna set there. Of course, the forehead. Add some warmth to my face. I'm gonna be using this matte bronzer by the brand LYS Beauty. I like this bronzer. So I'm not so pale from that powder. I'm gonna go on my jawline. With that same powder, I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. Give myself a little nose job. I really like that. Even though it's matte, it doesn't like, it has like a satiny look to it. I really like this. I will definitely keep using this. It's not dark enough for a nose contour, but I like it on the face. For my brows now, I'm just brushing them through and I'm going to use something old something I know I like. So this is basically a brow pen that I absolutely love. And I use this to kind of fill in the gaps in my brows and make it look more natural, like hair-like, because it's a streaky pen. But you cannot overdo it with one of these things because then it'll really look fake fake. Looks even enough. I'm gonna brush that out. Brows done. I got this from a brand called Eleven by Venus Williams. It's also, I think, exclusive to Credo Beauty. If you don't know, it is a exclusive clean beauty retailer. So they only sell clean beauty everything non-toxic and natural. And Venus Willem created this line with them. I haven't tried their lip stuff yet. There's a couple of them and I'm gonna put one on right now before I continue with the rest of my face because my lips are pretty bare and I think it'll set the tone as to where I wanna continue going. I have four colors, really three, because one is a bare lip balm. So the other three are Game Day, Power Player, and Venus. This is Venus. Ooh, that's red. This is Game Day. And this is Power Player. I'm gonna go with the red one, Venus. That is red. You know what? I can see myself wearing this on a daily basis. On my eyes, I have a new eyeliner that I'm gonna try out right now. I have two, actually. One is by Bite Beauty. It's a liquid eyeliner. And then this one is Naked Poppy. Both are clean eyeliners. This is the wand on Clean Poppy, and this is the wand on Bite Beauty. They pretty much look exactly the same, so I'm just gonna use the Bite Beauty one. For mascara, I'm using an old favorite. This is the Honest Beauty mascara. I don't have anything new at the moment. I'm gonna curl my lashes first. This mascara is the best one ever. It comes with a primer on one side. It helps my tiny, non-existing lashes perk up and look longer. Now, opening the new Westman Atler Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in the color Petal. And I love that it's just a magnet top. 
it's so good. And I was literally gonna buy this myself, but thanks to PR packaging, I got it in the mail. Okay. Okay. I love how cream blush just sinks into your skin. It looks more natural, even though I'm piling it on right now, it still looks more natural. And because I'm someone who likes more of a bare face, um, not very glowy foundation, it makes the blush pop on my cheeks. I really like that. To highlight, I'm actually gonna use a little bit of this Living Luminizer powder. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that with my finger right on the tip of my nose. And what's cool is that I really don't like the Living Luminizer over my makeup nowadays. I used to like it many, many years back when I first started off with Clean Beauty, but I don't find myself using it with uh, makeup on very often. For my cheeks, I'm gonna be taking a brush instead Top of my cheek. Alright, here's the final look. What do you think? What do we like and what do we not? Comment below. Out of the new things that I tried, the winners for me are Cream Blush by Westman Atelier, the Perfect Form Tinted Lip Balm with SPF 15 by Venus Williams in the color Venus, this LYS bronzer to die for. I will definitely be using this. Again. The Beauty Counter Foundation and Concealer, I really like it. I really do. I just need to try the, the foundation with a different primer. What I did not like is this liquid eyeliner. I should have gone with the other one because I can look at myself right now and I can see that within seconds, it is not holding up. It's just not the line that I first created anymore. The hair products though, I'm really liking it. It gave my hair a very soft and bouncy look and it looks good. All right, I think that's the full rundown. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me try new things and old things. Everything will be linked down below as usual. All my links, everything about me, where you can find me, all that good stuff is right down below. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.